This video is about the things you can't stop wearing. Oh, well, this is definitely one of the things I can't stop wearing. Hello. All right. Last Friday, I took off. If you follow me on my community page, it was because it was the 4th of July weekend, so I wanted to take that day off. So I am back Friday with another video. Another video on YouTube because I feel like I'm doing videos every single day, but they're going up on Instagram Reels and they're going up on my TikTok. So if you wanna see every single day, like outfits I'm wearing, where I'm going, things I'm looking to get, things I've got, unboxings, blah, 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 check out my Instagram Reels and check out my TikToks because that's where everything is going up every single day. But in between then, and also just one side note on TikTok, I actually prefer it because it's my number one preferred platform because I can just speak more openly about certain things and I like it for that and give my opinions. I feel like on YouTube, I feel like there's too much judgment. <laughs> of things on YouTube. Whereas on TikTok, not that you don't get it there because it's the internet, but you know, it's just different. So anyways, if you want to see more of me and, and I really do need more of me, that's where I am. All right, so as you can see, title of the video, these are the things I'm wearing on repeat. These are the things that some are a little bit older, some are like relatively new, but it's literally I've hit the ground running. Hit the ground wearing these things. I think it's just the things that you buy and you never realize until maybe you actually got it that you're like, I've even shocked me about how often I've been wearing it. So I'm just gonna pick up this for one. Bam, the Jody. I knew I was gonna wear this a lot. I love white bags anyway. So this was like a no brainer as Americans would say. It's the mini size, I love it. If I need something bigger in white, I will show you what I've been hitting the ground running in as well outside of this. But I picked this up in Paris and I cannot tell you how much I love to wear this thing. Sorry, it's a bit shadowy. The lighting is really weird at the moment. And the reason why I have this background, by the way, is because we're doing renovations. I know you lot have loved when we did the bathroom renovation downstairs, when we did the renovation to the kitchen as well. There's a major one that's happening upstairs and I will be showing you more very soon. There is just like literally explosion of clothes and racks and all kinds of stuff to allow for the space for the renovations to happen. Make sure you are subscribed if you want to see those renovations because it's coming up i'm already dropping sneak peeks of it on my instagram stories anyway where was i white and this bag i don't know how did i make that connection anyway so the next bag i want to show you is another reason for why i'm wearing white and so much in terms of bags cannot tell you how much daytime nighttime it's a good grab size i use it for those days when obviously i want to carry stuff that warrants this size because i've heard some re reviews say oh it doesn't carry that much well i mean look at the flipping size of it what do you expect the kitchen sink so i wear this because it's that small dinky size i just want to carry a few things and that is it and it's perfect so i've been loving this bag i've worn this so much i've worn it year round i've worn it with gray coats in the winter i've worn it in the summertime this is the first one where do i go next flipping neck. there's so many things I don't know which order to go in sunglasses the actual Loewe's I have been wearing the most I think are downstairs they're in a bag which is a testament to how often I wear them but these in the white I cannot tell you how often I've been wearing those white ones I am liking that kind of squared look these are more rectangular but I've realized that anything that's got a squared vibe to it I just think it looks more flattering on my face shape so Case example, and again, it's the white ones of these that I wear the most. I'll show you pictures on the screen here. Case in point, on the lower end of the spectrum, these are by Amazon, but same thing. I've been wearing these a lot, and it's for the same reason. It's a slightly squared off 70s kind of shape, as opposed to this. There's nothing wrong with these. I actually really like this with what I'm wearing. I actually like this with the outfit. But let's talk about the shape. Generally speaking, I am preferring the squared off, slightly flatter at the bottom, rounded corners, that kind of silhouette. That's why I like them. So it's not about the price of the Lueves. It's about the shape, because these are both from Amazon. And I've noticed that, that is what I've been drawn to the most. There is a denim piece I have to stop myself wearing. On TikTok, you probably know which one it is. Same on Instagram. It's these bloody Margiela jeans that I picked up. They are ultra wide, and I'm sure the majority of you probably hate them. And that's fine. I didn't buy them for you, I bought them for me. I cannot tell you how much I have worn these wide-legged, ultra wide-legged jeans. They are the dog's bollocks. Here is a picture of when I actually got them. If you like Dover Street Market, check it out. This is a footage of me in the fitting room trying them on and I just loved them. I just think they're so badass. But I didn't like the price tag. <laughs> So I ended up getting them on sale. I'll leave a link for it below because I think they're still available on sale. I love them. I was surprised by how much I wore these flipping jeans and I still keep wearing them a lot. I just cannot. I think they're amazing. They're so, they're so good. The quality.
quality of them is fra I mean for the price there should be the quality is up there but they're still kind of supple like they've been washed several times but they're still thick love that and i love the color of them and i can see me wearing them a lot in the winter and the fall as well so badass with like some cool jackets and like oh god like a long scarf and like a skinny polar neck ah! so good another thing that i have been wearing well things that i've been wearing and i cannot stop wearing them are tiktok followers you already know this these the two of them, the Balenciaga Kegel bags. These are the new version of the Balenciaga City that was famous in the 2000s. I still own the original Balenciaga City in the black and in the red. So these are their updated versions of them. I did like a little comparison actually on screen side by side of the newer version with the older original OG version. So if you want to see that, I'll link that video for below. It's good because you get to see like what it looked like and then how Balenciaga like updated it. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I got the white initially. This is called the size small, by the way. If you want a review, let me know. Actually, I'll probably do a review on my TikTok because I don't think there'll be enough people on YouTube who want to know. So if you want one, make sure you follow me on there. I cannot tell you how much I've hit. In fact, I can. Because if you've seen on my other platforms, you've seen how much I've been wearing these on the day, daily. This one alone, I have worn so, so much. Again, sorry for the light cannot tell you how much i've been wearing this bloody thing these are detachable so you don't have to have these hanging out i love the vibe of hanging them hanging out it keeps it really casual but you can obviously put them inside this or you know completely remove them it's up to you you know what's genius about this the holes the number of holes going down the strap so it's a design feature but at the same time it's a functionality thing so you can wear it right here on this level or you can wear it much higher up, or you can wear it all the way down here, and you can wear it cross body. And it just depends on how I'm feeling, what outfit I'm wearing, I just adjust accordingly. No two days are the same on how I wear this. It just depends on what I'm wearing, what I like, the way it feels on me. So functional, I loved it so much that I got this one. I don't know if I would have got it had I not seen it in person, but I was in the Balenciaga shop and I saw this, and my God, I just thought, oh, f me. Sorry, I know there's going to be people even dropping comments saying, Oh my god, you're buying these bags. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? I've got to the point now, I don't even care now because I feel like if you can afford and you've earned it, you should be able to spend and get exactly where the F you feel like, including the people who are like saying F me. Do you know what I mean? It just doesn't matter. I don't care what you get. Sorry, I'm just doing this in advance because I know the comments are probably going to come. I cannot tell you. I love this. Oh, it's not even showing. Oh, I'll sod this. Hold on, let me show you. Look. That. Look at that. Sorry, again, I know. I've got like a poxy ring light right here. It's not doing it justice. This is fantastic. Pictures here of how I've been wearing it. So good. It's so... Look how it picks up on the black bralette. This one is a size extra small. Same as with the Mini Jody. I wear whatever I want that wants me to carry a smaller bag. But this is so rock chick because it's the black with the antique gold hardware. It's just, this is chef's kiss in a bag to me. This and the white one, they are hands down my favorite. See, both work with what I'm wearing. See how this works with what I'm wearing, doesn't it? And this works with what I'm wearing. Every day, it's yin yang. I've stopped wearing everything else. Even my beloved Loewe puzzle bags I've stopped wearing. I've just been rocking these every single day. I think I obviously was looking for a very slouchy bag that had the shoulder strap thing. It has a casual kind of look to it too. It really feels like a New Yorky bag. It's very functional. It's flat to the body. You can wear it messenger style. These are such good workhorses. I have truly shocked myself with how much I've been wearing these bags. For the next thing I've been wearing a lot of are the these Nikes. I have been loving wearing these. I got these from Farfetch last year and I so love wearing these. Um, they're just white on white. I think that's why. It's because it's the colour. There's nothing else to it. Unlike my Kelly Green Jordans, which I'll show you here. I love those. But if I want something that's just simple and plain that I can just mix and match with a lot of my things, I have been drawn to wearing these. And I've also just been drawn to wearing solids in general. Like I'm not wearing prints and patterns as much at the moment i'm wearing like solid colors so i think that is why i've been wearing this so much because it's going with whatever else i am wearing that is just a like solid but that is definitely one i'm going to show you it properly but i love them i think they're great it does exactly what it says on the tin very cool it feels effortless it looks good with like trousers like men's trousers i think that's a really cool way to wear them but it also looks good with a pair of shorts case in point here from tiktok 
I love them and I've hit the ground also wearing these even when I'm traveling I wear them I still also wear my Converse high hikes I'll show you a picture of them on the screen those I also I love to wear especially the white ones I wear those a lot this is gonna be an eye roll, I'm sure, but the dad's. Dad's coming out. He's coming with us. Sorry, you're gonna roll your eyes because dad's coming, but never mind. I know he's gonna spoil the fun. Been wearing these so flipping much. Ridiculous. Either two years or three years old, these ones. Non stop. Non stop. I think I have them in like three colors and I just rotate. Keep wearing them. Every time I just wanna wear a chunky sandal that is flat, I'm grabbing this. Tevers. That's another thing I keep wearing all the time. I'll show you on the screen. I actually wear tethers a lot around the house. <laughs> it's been really hot in New York. Instead of being barefoot, I'll just walk around the house wearing like my tethers. I love wearing those. Tethers are the slippers of outdoors. To me, they are the OGs. They are the originals. They will never go out. I feel like every designer has knocked off tethers, come out with their own version, whether it's Cecile Bahansen with the flowers, who remembers those? I still have those in the blue love and there's a reason why they kind of copy that because they know that the tether is a style that a just doesn't seem to date and b it seems to be even increasingly more relevant because it's almost like that ugly shoe it's nothing pretty about it it's not a feminine sort of shoe and because that is an aesthetic that is very much in in a fashion space at least i can see why tether and anything tether like even drag down to like these the chanel dad sandals which are basically like the birkenstock which also falls in that same area of being like an ugly shoe i can see why these type of shoes are like pillars at the moment as far as like standing the test of time and you keep wearing them whether you get them from chanel or whether you get them from birkenstock it's that style of shoe itself that is what I keep wearing on repeat. Side note, I do own Birkenstocks and I don't wear them at the moment. I think I have flat feet, that's why. There is a hump. If you've got Birkenstocks, you know what I'm talking about. It's right here and it hurts my foot when I wear those. So I wear these because it doesn't have that distinctive hump which the Birkenstocks do. Just outside of pricing, these are literally more comfortable for me to wear. This actually doesn't surprise me. Out of everything I've shown in this video, this is the one item that does not surprise me that I've been wearing this non-stop throughout last year fall that's going to give you an idea already and the tail end of summer of last year 2021 all through the winter right through spring bam we're in summer now i'm still wearing these bloody things it's my cargos that i designed with amazon the drop you know how much i love and wear these the most out of anything from my collection are the cargos so i came out with different colors like eggshell milky white and i came up with that yellow color and i came up with the black again i'm wearing all of them all the time <laughs> and you lot are wearing them too because if there's anything that i see the most between that and the dress that you're sending me messages on instagram it is the cargos you lot are rocking these as well and you've been saying the same thing friends as well have told me that karen i have to stop wearing those cargos i wear these almost every day i have to stop i have to wear something else i'm the same way these are genius and i'm going to give myself a big pat on the back i'm sorry i'm dropping f-bombs but i feel like it I am so proud of myself for coming up with these because they are stupid comfortable and they look so cool. They truly look cool on, no lie. This is a size large. I actually have them in medium. That's actually my size in them. They're designed to be oversized because I just wanted that look of just wearing it super oversized. Trying to get the vibe of this. These white vintage men's parachute pants, I call them. When Nuri and True were in New York, we went to a vintage shop. I went to one with them in Brooklyn and they had these pants and I got them. You can see how I styled them on my TikTok. I love the volume of those pants. So I kind of recreate that feel when I just sized up and got the large in these already oversized cut cargos. These are everything in the bag of chips. And no surprise I've worn these so much. I wanted to design a pant especially that I know I'm gonna wear all the time. Beyond just, you know, selling to people, influencer and all that jazz. Screw that, I'm actually gonna be selfish. I wanna design something that I really wanna wear. This was it. I knew when I made these, I was like, I want them. I'm designing what I want. And you obviously wanted it too. And I know a lot of you said to bring them back. It's out of my hands. I'm not the one who makes that decision. Before you lock leave comments, because you have on Instagram. It's not up to me, it's Amazon. They manufacture it, they do the customer service. They are the decision makers. So go after Amazon the drop, not Amazon, that's different. Amazon the drop, that is who you target and you tell them. Another thing I've hit the ground running in is this orange shirt. This one I got from And Other Stories. Everything on Link if it's still available. Ah, it's so punchy. I love wearing this, I love it. And Other Stories, orange, 100% cotton shirt. 
simple button down nothing boom 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 nothing to it i wear this open all the time over a pair of shorts all the time and it's so easy this is me wearing a t-shirt i don't wear t-shirts too too often i'm very particular about the cut of t-shirts what i will do is i'll wear like a little crop top and i'll just bung this on over it and i'll wear it open that is me all day all day every day i have a kelly green one that i got from the frankie shop that one also i've been wearing all the time on repeat throughout the summer and i recently got a white linen one which is oh chef's kiss from zara i love that i'll show you here what it looks like i wear them all three exactly the same way so effortless so easy in the holiday as well to just dress like that over a bikini over a pair of shorts open any kind of crop top i'm just wearing this one but it could be any type a bodysuit and then you bung this on over it effortless for days and the last piece i'm going to show you drum roll is going to be this blazer it is hands down the thing that i've surprised myself even though i know i wear blazers a lot i've surprised myself for how much i've worn this particular one it is just been absolutely redonk this vintage men's blazer it's like a structured linen -y material in a really easy like neutral color it's not white it's like a kind of like a beigey kind of color Hello, <laughs> i can't tell you how much i've been wearing this blazer What's look that? at his hat look at e. michael's hat this video is about the things you can't stop wearing oh well this is definitely one of the things i can't stop wearing i love this hat new orleans hats mayor no but it's mayor's was it michael yes. will tell you right here so that's mayor's that's their little label they put it in all their hats which is very nice it's so cool because the video is about things that you can't stop wearing that you wear all the time you classic signature new orleans you know it's something that represents me which is always good but that's pretty much it it's a go-to i don't have to wear shades all the time oh right i didn't think about that every summer that is so true michael wears a hat from Mayers from New Orleans and their hats are like chef's kiss. They've been around for like, I don't wanna say a century, not, not that long, but been around for decades. Cause when you go there, sorry, side note, but when you go, if you ever go to New Orleans and you go to the shop, they do women's hats as well. So it's unisex, best hats, period, end of story. I love like lack of colors and all the other brands who like doing hats. But if you want like the original cool girl, cool guy hats, go to Mayers. They have a wall of all the celebrities that have been there and shop there because they're just so cool and they just become like this staple and icon of the city is that shop. Thank me later if you go, I own a hat from them. Michael owns hats from them. That's his staple every single summer for sure of what he loves to wear. This I'll close also that's men's, which is the blazer. That is it. I'm starting to get comments now on my TikTok. Oh, it's that blazer again. Oh, again, Karen, again. Yes, again, again and again, because there's nothing wrong with wearing things that you love over and over and over and mixing it in with the stuff that you already have and then getting new stuff and mix that stuff in with the stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? This hands down is one of those things that I have not been able to stop wearing. It's to the point where I have to stop myself wearing it. The car goes. Those two Balenciaga bags, the Margiela wide leg jeans, the open shirts, I like always wearing open shirts, although I can't help it. They're really, they're dysfunctional. I have to slow down with wearing these things because I keep wearing them and it's like at the neglect of all my other things. Like I have dresses, I should be wearing like more of my dresses, which I probably will start because it's really, it's like, I mean, this is flipping July. It is as hot as balls now in New York. The next move is gonna be dresses outside like wearing shorts, although I do like wearing wide leg trousers oh my god wide leg trousers wide leg anything hashtag wide leg anything love it love whether it's from my own line whether it's from zara doesn't matter wide leg i'm loving this stuff what oh it's just oh this is chef's kiss imagine wearing like a bikini top with a cropped cropped denim jacket <laughs> just look look at the action of me doing that i'm going like from that to that this is, this is chef's dreams are made of. I'm getting my money's worth. Trust me. I feel like it's at the point where it's going from money's worth to negative. It's starting to look, pay me back. Like I'm wearing it for free in a way. Do you know what I mean? Because I want it so much. Those Balenciaga City bags, the older ones I had, the originals, black and the red, which I still own. I've worn them so much 
you can see the wear and tear how the tassels are ripping the string that stitches the leathers together is fraying out completely lost its structure i mean it just when you put it on a flat surface just a, a pool of leather that's when you've really wringed out the life out of your things it's just the things that you gravitate to and love anyway i've made my point <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say. That is it my loves. I will see you next week Friday. By the time you're watching this video, I don't think I am in this country anymore. I am somewhere else. Instagram and TikTok, you will see where I am. And I will talk to you from there. All right? So that is it. I'll be on there daily. I'll leave any links for anything I was on this video. And I will see you next week. Also, oh, an idea. Let me know if you're up for it. I'm trying this experiment where I'm posting, you know my Where Did You Get That series, what everyone is wearing in New York? I'm thinking of doing like miniature drops of them on my TikToks. I talk about TikTok because it's so simple, it's so far, you just record, upload. YouTube is a beast, it takes a lot of editing, there's a lot of work that goes into you sitting and watching these, believe it or not. <laughs> Before I started my own YouTube channel, I used to think, oh, what they do, what they do is just press record, talk, end, upload. I wish, it's not, it's not as easy as that. With TikTok, it almost kind of, sort of is. It's, it's just faster. With my series, I talk to like 10 odd people, however many people in one episode, but I'm doing like, just talking to one person and I'll just drop it on my TikTok. So let me know if you like that. So the YouTube will always stay for the series because I drop those once a month. But if you want to see more of them, because I'm dropping those, like, I don't know what the frequency is. I'm not, don't hold me to it. But it's more often than you're seeing on YouTube. So if you like the idea of those miniature runs and I'll keep dropping them, let me know. I'm gone. I'll see you next week. I'll talk to you on those platforms, but not from New York. <laughs> oh my God. It doesn't, it doesn't, it could be a body. Body suit, not a body, as in my body. <laughs> is that Michael? Yes, it is. That's That's me. I can't. I can't. 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 Can't speak. Mayors of Keswick. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! no. That's the British food shop in London. I mean, in East Village. Yeah, buddy. West Village. Sorry. Bye.